magnetism, that's all about your feminine energy. That is like your soft receiving energy. Knowing that and knowing how to tap into that is I think extremely, extremely important when it comes to really building that confidence. For me, the masculine energy, like that, I keep that at work and then I take the feminine energy home. It's about the time and place. I think that a lot of women struggle with yeah. tapping into their feminine energy. I think that society really rewards masculine energy. And that was a really big thing that I had to reprogram myself and relearn when it came to dating and relationships, because I got to a point a few years ago where I was like, I'm sick of being the boss bitch in charge of my relationship, like planning everything, making sure he was, you know, doing everything he needed to do. This does not feel like my truest essence of myself, where I feel like my most self is when I'm tapping into my intuition, when I'm feeling creative, when I'm in flow with my body, when I'm not being so hard on myself, that's very masculine energy. That's not normal for women. We're going to fluctuate with our hormones. We got to learn how to tap into that and be in flow with that. If you're a woman listening right now who wants to tap into their feminine energy, you have to realize that that is your natural essence. There is not some big changes that you need to make to yourself to be more in your feminine. All you have to do is really peel back these layers that we have thought, the things that society has, has told us to just go deeper within ourselves and connect deeper with our true essence.